Number 65. A pharmacy has a solution in stock with a concentration of 1 to 200. How many milliliters will be needed to make 150 milliliters of solution that is 1 to 1,000? A. 10 milliliters. B. 20 milliliters. C. 30 milliliters. Or D. 40 milliliters. And the answer is C. 30 milliliters. So the ratio strength concentration formula is grams to milliliters. So when we need a solution that's one gram to 1,000 milliliters will be our concentration. So first we're going to set up equivalent fractions, cross multiply, then divide to obtain the drug amount needed. So first we're going to work with this 1 to 1,000 concentration. So 1 gram per 1,000 milliliters equals x grams per 150 milliliters. If we cross multiply and divide to solve, um, we have 150 times 1 is 150 divided by 1,000. So that equals 0 0.15 grams. So that is our total amount of drug needed, is the one, 0 0.15 grams. Now we're going to set up equivalent fractions, cross multiply and divide with the concentration in stock. So we have 1 gram per 200 milliliters, that's our concentration in stock, and we need 0 0.15 grams per x milliliters. So we have 200 times 0 0.15, that equals 30, then divided by 1 equals 30 milliliters. So the total amount of 1 to 200 solution needed to make 150 milliliters of the 1 to 1,000 solution is 30 milliliters. That will give us the amount of drug we need in it, and then water will be added to get the remaining 120 milliliters so that we would have a total of 150 milliliters of this solution. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam practice test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.